everybody this is Pramita here and uh, this is what I'm trying to do um, today I'm just trying to do some decoupage on a music page that is there in this journal I'm going to go through this journal very quickly this is this just needs stitching and uh, probably stenciling in a few places um, it's nearly done and um, yeah, I I had put this on backbencher. I shouldn't have done that. Anyways, I wanted to finish my ephemera pack that I was working on. And I have finished that. I'll show it to you. So, uh, this is all the napkin that I have. I don't have much. Mm, uh, I always... Um, uh, you know almost always don't try to buy too much because then I don't tend to use it I only try to buy things um, that probably I'm going to use so I'm just going to go through these napkins very quickly there are some that I have I had received as you know happy meal or something from a friend but most of it is what I have so this is a napkin that I've used And then this one, I don't think I'm going to use this. I have used this before. I think I had two of these. Similarly to these. These are red poppy sort of thing. Um, some roses, I'm not going to use that. Some cherry blossom, not this. So I'm just going through this. If I like this, then I'm going to use it. Or else we'll see no so I might use this this was a happy mail I think um, I think this came from Anne Cathy my friend thank you Anne so this one um, maybe this one not sure um, this I'm not going to use um, not very keen on this okay not this not this so these are some pansies that I'm not using again poppy that I'm not going to use mm, I'm not going to use this this is a travel theme sort of thing I'm not going to use that I might use this because this is the only bit that I have left um, I'm not using this, not this, not this, this is a sunflower theme and not this definitely. So these are the little bits and pieces that I have and might use and I will show you how I do that. Okay, so this is the journal. Now I'm going to give this a very quick flip through so you can see this is the front cover uh, front page sorry so this is actually a flip here's a journal card that goes in here's another pocket and I need to make a journal card for this pocket so here I have another card here um, in this pocket this card goes in this is um, a piece of acetate that I have added um, with backed with vellum you know you can put something inside I have not put anything and then this flips up um, then this is the usual stuff you know like this is a pocket done some collage this is an envelope pocket so this flips out and this closes up and then when you turn this here's another tuck spot this is a vintage book page some tag again some pocket this is another altered uh, envelope that I had talked about this was a big huge envelope so I folded this up 
and made it into two pockets. So here is one and here is the other one. I have something to go in here but I've not put in yet. So this is the music page that I plan on doing a collage, a uh, decapod, sorry. And here is a pocket. There are certain simple pockets and some are a little bit um, fiddly sort of thing. This is like a belly band so if you want you can glue this. So a tag pocket, middle page, this is just a botanical card. Again some tag pockets. Here I have a pocket with some tag library pocket. Here uh, this is the other side of that altered envelope. So these are the ones that I have not backed with tea stains, tea stained papers yet. I need to do that so let me keep them aside so that I remember and this is the other side. So it's nearly done. I just need to put in a few things probably. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to do some book page um, decoupage on this. So I how I do it I'll show you. This is a very old dictionary that I have. And don't look horrified because I am going to be merciless with this. I'm just going to take off this page. And um, so what I'll do first is I'm going to put a layer of book page over here. So what I'll do is I'll just, you don't have to be very particular about it. You can just... Just trying to put this over here. Cover is cover this as much as possible, but not entirely because I do want to keep the music notes in parts. So I might do it this way. Okay. So I'm going to glue this first, and then I'm going to do the deck purge. So what I will do is just open this up. Okay, so I am using this glue. This is a decoupage glue by an Indian company. And it's pretty good. It does the job. And I don't need much. And it's pretty affordable. Because even though I like Tim Holtz products, they are pretty expensive uh, in India. And... So this is how I do it. Don't take too much of water because try to keep it as dry as possible. So I'm just going to put this like so. Okay. I hope you can see it. Now I have not put anything inside uh, under this. So I will. And once this dries a little bit, I am going to put the napkin. So this is like a double layer of decoupage that you can do. Okay. So, so this is how it's looking. So I might put in this one because yeah so because I can uh, I need a water brush okay. so I this is a water brush you can use your um, just your paint brush dipped in water I just want to set this going so what I'll do is I'll just take off the portion that I need it out. So I'm going to just 
pull this very gently I think I have shown some so this is how I get this piece okay so now I'm going to lay this over here and I'm not going to use too much water as I said because too much water is going to make this wrinkle but the glue is pretty thick so I am adding a little bit water just to make it going you know, so that it works well so I'm not going to put anything except this so I'm just going to put a layer of glue very lightly and then I'm just going to this is a little bit fiddly guys so you have to be a little bit cautious and don't rush this if you have a fan brush it's all the more better I don't and you have to be super gentle otherwise it's going to crumple up sometimes the crumpled up effect looks nice but here I don't see how it it is crinkling up it will crinkle at some point but so the double decoupage is nearly done as you can see um, I have more book pages so I can put them over here like so so again I'm going to lift and see it has to be glued otherwise it's going to bubble up you know? because all the pages are not porous like the decoupage napkins are pretty porous and even if you don't glue put glue uh, beneath it's not going to bubble up that much but uh, some papers like this book page this is not very porous not so so here is my napkin can just so I can just let it just tear that part you know the wet part that I have just drawn so I have drawn a wet outline sort of thing if you can see I'll show you again and I'm just going to pull the napkin very gently and just have this bit so I want only this bit over here okay so now I know where I want so I can put the glue okay Decoupage is not one of my strong points, but I just um, sometimes it works out well. Most of the times it does work out okay, but you know how things are. Sometimes some things are not in your hand, they just go, uh, they suddenly develop their own mind, you know, they do what they feel like. So it's like that. And I don't think I'm going to put anything else. So it's pretty glued up. 
and I'm going to trim the sides once they dry off completely. So this is the first, uh, this is a front page that we have done and I will do the back side once this dries off completely. So I'll be back to show you once this dries. So while uh, this page is drying, I thought I'd show you I'm making a few decoupage envelopes uh, that might go inside the journal. So uh, I have done this and I thought I'd show you how you can do it easily uh, with scraps of your, uh, you know, the little bits and pieces that I had from decoupaging on that page. I'm using this on, uh, you know, doing this envelope. So I'll show you how I do this. So I'm just taking off a little bit. I don't like. Um, okay. So I'm going to place this. And another quick way to do decoupage is glue on the. If you're doing it with paper, not with napkin, you can put glue, uh, you know, at the back, and then. And then you can just place this because this is not as flimsy as your napkin, like a birch napkin, and just glue it down like you glue any other um, thing, you know. And I just have this bit left, so I thought I'd show you. So I don't want this part. Oh God, it's a mess. Um, so I just don't want this part. I want a raggedy kind of look, so I'm just taking this off. Um, some over here, some over here. These are the things that I don't need. And I'm going to put this over here. Okay, so I just don't need this. Okay, I can put it somewhere else. So I'll do that later on. So I'm going to put this. So I'm going to put this over here. And what I'll do is I'll just put some glue. I hope I'm in frame. Yeah, I am. So I'm just going to put some glue randomly because I know it's going to go in here. Um, even if it is, you know, the glue. So I'm going to put the napkin very carefully. Don't rush with this napkin bit you know that that's the main thing I used to do do it quickly no you have to be very gentle use the side of your hand this side this side just to press this lightly because yeah so I'm just pressing this not much And I'm not applying any glue at the top before and so I have this drying so this one also I have not applied anything on top I've just glued the napkin down and I think um, once it dries I'm going to do the you know I'll just put a wash over it so that's then that will be good to go this is still drying this is not dry yet so we need to be patient and you know the place where I live in it's very very humid so it takes quite a lot of time to dry so I'm going to this is nearly dry so I can put a wash over that, you know, a layer of the glue so that it's sealed and I'm just going to pour a little bit, not much because it dries out pretty quickly and it's pretty thick, you know, I, with time it gets thicker so I'm just using a little bit of water, not much and I'm going to just mix the water and the glue you can make your own uh, decoupage glue with PVA glue and water but um, I do do I do use that also sometimes but uh, I 
I don't have that done right now, so I'm just using whatever I have at hand. So I'm just. So I would suggest even before you know, if you are starting off, don't uh, start applying the top layer while you know this is wet. Glue it. Let the bottom glue dry first, and then you go over your brush on the top. I hope this make, this is making sense. Because I have learned the hard way. I'm not an expert, and there are way more better tutorials than mine. But um, I found that this works best for me. So uh, I wait till it dries. Otherwise, you can do whatever suits you. So this is this has dried partially. So I'm going to just you know lightly brush my glue. That's it. I'm not going to overdo stuff. So I'm going to let this dry also. So now you can use this in other projects also. If you have scraps of napkin, you can just use them up in this way. And at the back, this has dried, not dried completely, but somehow, some, somewhat it has dried. Uh, so I'm going to see if I if I'm going to use some napkin from here. I think I'm going to use this. I take this off and see how much I can use. Okay, I can use this bit or something. I'm not sure. So I need to see. Uh, I often use this in conjunction with other uh, tissue papers also. So I'll show you how I do that. So I I do have some Tim Holtz tissue papers that I can use. Uh, these are some tissue papers by Tim Holtz. I can use these also. And these are pretty sturdy. You can just snip them off with your scissors um, and use them as you like. So I'm just snipping this off. I don't. I'm not going to use this, and I'm just going to take off this part. Okay, and I'm going to do a mix of both, so you can see for yourself which one you like. And I'm not going to add book page on this uh, side of the page. I'm just going to take off um, some portion that I like. So I hope you can see it. I hope I'm in frame. So I'm just going to take off a little bit from here. Um, so I'm just... I will be just pulling this off. This is what I want. I'm not going to do an entire, you know, page sort of thing, uh, but there's going to be little bits and pieces here and there. So I'm just trying to take off this butterfly. Okay, and I will take off a little bit from here also. I'll be taking off this. I need to get some napkins, you know, but yeah, so I am thinking of buying some napkins. These, uh, some of the ones that I've bought are from a girl who does decoupage classes, you know. She's a certified decoupage teacher. She did her certificate from somewhere from Thailand or Singapore or something like that. She used to sell napkins, but all has gone haywire during the lockdown, you know. And I can't contact her anymore. So she lives very near to the post office where I ship my orders. 
and what I used to do is I just used to give her a call if she had any napkins um, I would just go and pick them up so that used to work great for me but now everything is so weird and different so now what I'm going to do is I have this water brush and this does not work too well with this because these are pretty sturdy anyways let's see um, so it's okay I'm just trying to take this off this is pretty thick tissue paper if you are starting off I think this is a very good option because this holds uh, the glue very well this doesn't crumple up and this is a tissue paper basically this is not your napkin so that's the basic difference so I can glue this over here and like so I think it's looking nice um, and Maybe I'm going to add some some of here. So I need to take this off. I don't want two butterflies. Okay, so I can put one butterfly over here and one over here. Okay, let's see how this goes. I need to pour in a little bit of glue. I'm just pouring in bits because um, I have my air conditioner on so um, it's going to dry up very quickly. So I'm just going to put this down first. So I'm going to put this down. You have to be very quick also with this because otherwise, see again I'm using my, you know, the, this side of my hand. So it's glued now and I want these butterflies, okay I don't know if this is going to work. that down yeah so this is the other one sorry <laughs> I have mixed it up so I'm going to lay this down with my fingers very gently if you are not gentle with this it's going to get all messed up trust me I have done that and it's not very really pleasant <laughs> and yeah so I have my butterfly over there and I'm not going to put any butterfly over here I think it's going to be too clumsy and busy I don't want that so I'm going to do this I'm going to put this over here so I'm just going to turn this put some glue sorry some glue over here and then I'm going to put this here. you can do this with a dry brush also if you are not confident you can do it with a better wet brush you have to be very careful I'm just pushing this down this is not good so I, I might you might find my voice very soft because when I'm con working <laughs> I try to concentrate more on what's going on the page so what I can do is I 
gonna put a butterfly over here. So I have to let this dry. And I have another butterfly over here. So I can put this, but this is too big. So I can put this. No, I want to put this over here. So I'm going to put this over here. Because, because I'm going to trim everything down and then you'll see how it's looking. So it's like so at this moment. I might add this butterfly over here just to bring a semblance of salt. And I have this, of course. So I'm going to put this over here. And I'm going to let this dry. <coughs> Sorry. So I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to just keep it like this, hanging sort of thing. So that it dries thoroughly on two sides. And I'll be back to show you how they have been worked out. Hi everybody. So I'm back and the, you know, the page that we were doing decoupage John has tried so I've just inserted that and I'm going to take this out because now I'm going to stitch this journal and this is how it's looking and I think I love this because I have added lots of uh, you know elements that are not um, actually you know they are not throughout you know I've torn up bits and pieces and I've placed them so um, I like I have put in these labels this is a stamp that I have and this is just a label from Miss Tracy Fox and here I have done more um, additions I've just added this but I need to line this I mean I need to draw a line sort of thing I guess I want to I can't say that I guess but okay I can do that later on that's not necessary right now uh, this is a stamp I have of these post-it stamp and I've just stuck that so um, it's like so and this is a butterfly from Andrea Artimes and again this is the decoupage that we had done and it has dried completely and now it's looking so pretty um, and it's going to go into the journal so after this uh, I'm going to stitch the journal and <clears throat> Towards the end, I'm going to make snippets to go with this, and um, I've also uh, remember the envelopes that uh, we were doing collage on, and I have just jazzed them up. I've added some butterfly. Uh, this is from Andrea. These are yet to dry. Um, as I said, I live in a very humid country, uh, so I've added this number, some random numbers. I usually stamp these out and add them. This is also a stamp set that I have um, and I've layered them on muslin, uh, cheesecloth, sorry, not muslin. And this is a side loading pocket. Um, I can put something here and the insides are, I hope I can make you see this, uh, the insides are lined with thicker paper so that even if you put things in, they are not going to wear off and I have made hinges because they are going to go on pages here I have made a tuck spot I'm going to show you um, something tiny can go in of course I'll just give you a brief idea so I can put something in over here like so so these are actually some 
uh, bits and pieces scraps that I had I had just you know layered them on um, a random notebook that I have I had shown how I do my uh, neutral background so I keep them there and then what what I do is I just tear them apart I don't have them in the process but I have some pre-made you know I'm just going to show you people so I have these pre-made you know and what I do is these are very neutral you know you can jazz them up you can just put a butterfly or some label this is a ticket uh, sort of thing uh, this is just a you know bunch of scraps that I've stitched and these are some bigger backgrounds that I've already done so I can uh, make them into tuck spots or I can make them into some sort of um, you know some sort of embellishment you can say for the journal so I have used some random papers that I was uh, having I had and these are some scraps that I have layered you know I've added heights to them and these can be excellent as your edges on your page they just uh, jazz up the page instantly and uh, you can also uh, use up all your scraps uh, for that matter I've used some washi tapes also because I don't get to use my washi tapes much uh, these are all scraps as you can see and again some scraps that I've used up so I uh, once uh, I assemble a lot of scraps what I do is I sit down and make these uh, raggedy things and you can see these are all on notebook composition notebook paper and I just tear them up and keep them in a box uh, once I have made some and then when I need uh, something you know I try to make them as neutral as possible because that helps me to and make them uh, available for any journal that I'm working on so um, I have I usually try and do that so you can try and make some of that as you can see it's all a bunch of scraps and I've just added some stitching for some extra interest and I've inked it up and I've, I keep it fairly in a in a generic size so that you know if I feel I can just trim that um, and make it into a pocket like here this is just a tuck spot pocket um, but it is uh, pretty you know suitable for things like this and this also has a hinge because uh, I'm going to put this on a page and that can flip up you know so you can journal nicely so I'll just show you how I plan on doing this uh, add this so I, if I put it over here suppose so what I can do is, if I put it here, this part is going to be on the page and this can flip out. So I'll have a journaling card here and you can pull it out and this page will have enough space for you to journal onto. Or what I usually do is I can add a full page pocket also. I'm not sure about that. Maybe I will, but that needs to be seen once I stitch the journal up. And I'm also going to make some um, lace snippets. As I promised, I'm going to show how I make that. Um, and um, there will be a process of sorts because uh, everybody has their own process. This is not something new. And I can't claim that mine are unique. But uh, I have learned from so many others who make awesome snippets. Uh, so this is the cover and I have sort of gessoed it and made it a little bit different a little bit toned down you can say and I might um, stain it also I don't know might be I might stain this and I'll do a test swatch first and then I'm going to do this uh, so now is the time when I'm going to stitch this baby up so I'll be back to show you after I've stitched this up and added the flips uh, and pockets and stuff like that that how interesting these become so thank you everybody and a huge hug for my new and old subscribers uh, thank you for hanging around i try and bring um, process videos or uh, you know how i do stuff because nothing is basically new in this community everybody uh, has their own take on it and we should appreciate what 
uh, each one's creativity um, you know sometimes you know they give a new perspective to your style also i have learned so much from uh, journal makers and um, i hope that somebody will learn from my uh, you know process also so thank you everybody have a great day bye see you